Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is, of course, Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. Now, today is a sort of channel update slash let's talk about San Diego Comic-Con, which is happening the other side of the planet this very weekend. Now, in regards to the channel, a few of you may have noticed that I was in the middle of reviewing the X-Men Apocalypse Builder figure wave, then all of a sudden I stopped. That is because my camera broke. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you should at It's Dan Who, you would have seen me posting pictures of my broken camera. So sad times, my uh, Canon camera broke um, and it took me a couple of days before I managed to get hold of a new one. So it would have been pretty difficult having a YouTube channel without a camera. So that was something I had to get sorted so I could vent and talk about Marvel Legends with you guys because uh, I've got no one else to talk to. Um, so happy days, I got my camera fixed. Hooray. So let's talk about San Diego Comic Con, shall we? Let's get straight into it. Now, obviously, I'm a massive loser, so I've written a list, I've got a clipboard. Let's do this professionally, shall we, right? So I'm in uh, the Marvel Legends UK group, as you know, so I thought it'd be very interesting to give the Marvel Legends UK fans a bit of a heads up of when the reveals will start to happen UK-wise, because we live in the future, by the way. Don't ask me this week's lottery numbers, I'm not telling you. But yes, we live eight hours in the future. So um, the time is a little bit different. So let me give you an example. Uh, San Diego Comic Con officially starts on the 19th of this month, of course, which is Thursday. But they have a preview night on the Wednesday at 6 p.m. Now the preview night, they basically open up the showroom floor and let the press and media go in and get a lay of the land, take some pictures and sort of tease people of what the weekend has in store. Now for us Marvel Legends fans, we wanna know what Hasbro have on that showroom floor on preview night and see if they're sneakily put out any reveals. So if you wanna see the reveals as they happen, UK time, you need to be up and about at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, or Wednesday night, um, which is pretty annoying because they probably won't reveal a lot, but it's not just Hasbro. Obviously, lots of different tour companies were revealing stuff, but I personally want to see what Hasbro have on offer. So uh, yeah, 6 p.m. Pacific time is preview night over in San Diego in sunny California, but in the UK, it will be 2 a.m. Now that is your first opportunity to see what Hasbro have on the showroom floor. My predictions are they will just show a lot of figures that we've already seen, including the Venom wave, the Star on Builder figure wave, both that I've reviewed and are on my channel right now, by the way, plug, plug. Um, and, and, if, and most of the other things that we've already seen, but we're interested in seeing new stuff. So the next opportunity for Hasbro to do that will be at the Hasbro breakfast. Now this is something that they do annually. Uh, Hasbro have a breakfast where they invite the media and show off some of the stuff they're gonna be revealing over the weekend. And Hasbro last year revealed the vintage slash retro line at this breakfast, as well as the riders line, I believe. Um, so it's sort of a guarantee that Hasbro will reveal at least something at the Hasbro breakfast on Thursday morning to kick off San Diego Comic-Con. So that will be at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And in the UK, that'll be 4 p.m. on the Wednesday, uh, on the Thursday, sorry. So yes, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning in California. That will be 4 p.m. UK time. So you'll get home from work, jump on Instagram, jump on your Twitter feeds, Find the hashtag Marvel Legends Hasbro, and I'm sure you'll start to see some of the reveals coming from the people that are at the actual con. A lot of UK, a uh, lot of Marvel Legends people are at the con, including people like JC of Toy News International. I'm sure Bug Nice is going from the ACBA. Sharpness Prime's always there. I'm sure there's lots of outlets. I think uh, Robo from the the Foosh, the Foosh can never say that properly. But yeah, all my favourite channels there be reviewing the uh, uh, event. So I'll be that's how I'll be finding out all my footage. I'm obviously not there. I'm at my house. So um, all my news is coming from those guys. I'm just filtering it back to you. Um, but yes, the main Hasbro panel, this is the panel where they show off the slideshow that they made on Publisher, Windows. They need to upgrade their slideshow, don't they? Um, but yeah, that's the panel where you get the Marvel Legends team sitting on the table, showing off a slideshow of all the stuff they've got coming out for the rest of the year. And that's when they sort of reveal a lot of pictures and what's gonna come out, but not necessarily figures. But it's still a good panel. It's nice to know what's coming. Now that is gonna be at 4 p.m. on the Saturday. Um, but in the UK time, that'll be midnight on Saturday night slash Sunday morning. So if you wanna watch the panel live, I'm sure hopefully people like JC, as I said at Toy News International, Marvelous News, uh, will have the panel live streamed somewhere so people like me stuck in the UK can watch it live and see those reveals live. I don't know why, I just need to see it when it happens. You know, I like being in the loop. 
So uh, yeah, 4 p.m. Pacific time, that's midnight UK time. Um, I've read it all down in a nice, uh, nice table, but I'll put it in the description below if you don't want to listen to me ramble. Now, as I've mentioned, uh, there could be a lot of reveals. I reckon they're going to show off a lot of things that we've already seen this year because Marvel Legends have been hitting us thick and fast and burning our wallets. Now, don't moan, people. This is the golden age to be a collector. Yes, you can't afford it all at once. I completely get it. But the figures are still going to be there when you can afford them. Do you know what I mean? So let Hasbro keep throwing them at us. It is the golden age of Marvel Legends. Now, as I said, if you watch Rectangular, uh, he's been talking about some reveals that he thinks are going to happen. As I said, a retro slash vintage wave 2 is going to be coming out. And according to Rectangular, the wave is going to be Ant-Man, Wasp, Black Panther, Vigilant, Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye. He's also mentioned a Black Panther wave 2, um, which I'm very excited about. I love my MCU figures and I do think they missed a few from the original wave. So yeah. No one knows what the figures are going to be yet, but if the rumours are true that a second Black Panther wave is even happening, I would personally like to see. So these are my predictions, my wants, not necessarily what is going to be revealed. This is just what I want. I'd love to see uh, an MCU Shuri, obviously. Need her. She was a great part of the film. An MCU Claw. Really like Andy Serkis, that character. I really want an MCU version for my shelf. Uh, I reckon they're going to re-release that Black Panther, but the same Black Panther from the, the wave, but with the purple lines in it, like the film. Uh, I'm, and I'm hoping for an MCU Killmonger with the tactical gear and that tribal mask, as we've now got that unmasked Michael B. Jordan head that we can put on it. We need that tactical suit. Doubt they're going to give it us, but that would be amazing. That would be really, really good if they do that. Uh, they're also going to be comic book figures in that wave as well, of course, which could be anything. Um, but I've put down Man Ape and maybe a classic Storm, as she was the Queen of Wakanda at one point in the comics. Um, and Man Ape, I don't know how well they could do that this day and age, but we shall see. Um, so yeah. That's what I think might, well, it's not what I think, it's what I want, so let's be honest. But uh, yeah, Black Panther Wave 2. Now, I've also written down Infinity War here. Now, I do think they've already given us quite a lot for an Infinity War, but one thing they didn't give us was Spider-Man with those bloody iron claws. So we need that iron spider with the iron spider legs. Now, obviously, Mafex have got one coming out. Uh, SH Figure Arts already have one. So the guys at Hasbro must know that, and they must find a way to give us a Marvel Legends version with those legs. So fingers crossed they find a way to give us that Spider-Man. If they don't, then I'll be very happy if they give us an Ebony Ma and a Corvus Glaive from the Black Order. Now they've given us Proxima Midnight, they give us the uh, Call Obsidian Builder figure. Now we need Ebony Ma and Corvus Glaive. We need to finish that Black Order. We need to round out the team, have them standing with Thanos on your display. So Marvel Legends, I don't care if it's a two pack, I don't care if they're single packed in a wave. Find a way, Hasbro, give us Ebony Ma and Corvus Glaive. Thank you very much from Infinity war now as always there's always a spider-man wave there's always an x-men wave so i'm just going to throw out some characters that i would like to see in these waves so the prediction slash once again um so yeah just throwing them out hydro man scorpion kingpin mr negative um jigsaw now i don't care if these are builder figures or not i just want these characters for my display i want an overdrive to finish out my um uh, superior foes of Spider-Man because we've already got the Shocker and Beetle and whatnot. Uh, any members of the Serpent Society as that team's rounding up quite nice on the shelf. Again, these are B-list characters that I think they may reveal. So the Hydra Man could be a builder figure, Scorpion could be a builder figure, Kingpin could be a builder figure, or single packed. I don't mind. Um, if they can give us a Doc Ock in a single pack, they can give us any one of these in a single pack. It all depends what uh, is going to be in the Spider-Man 2 film though, because if Hydra Man is teased to be in the Spider-Man 2 film, we may not get a Hydra Man until later next year, an MCU version. Who knows? I don't know. Just speculating. X-Men. Always reveal an X-Men wave. There's at least one X-Men wave a year. And let's be honest, the most wanted X-Men figure has got to be Professor X in his hover chair. There's plenty of customs out there. Marvel Legends UK have one on their site right now. Plug, plug. Um, but yeah, we need a Professor X in his hover chair. Now, I don't care if Hasbro give us to it, us in the uh, Riders wave or single packed or a builder figure. I don't care. Give us Charles Xavier, Professor X in his hover chair, please. The yellow version, the classic version. Uh, we need Professor X. Also really want a Gambit. I don't have a Gambit in my collection. We need an updated modern Gambit on a nice uh, book. Please don't give us that rubber suit. Give us a flexible suit. We need a really nice Gambit figure. 
Um, I've just reviewed a Storm, but it was in the 80s sort of punk rocker outfit. I want to see Storm in her white outfit of the light, uh, white hair, the one that goes with the Jim Lee st rest of figures from the animated series. I want that white Storm. I reckon they will give us, but maybe not this year. I've also written other characters down, like people want a new Beast. I'm quite happy with the Toy Biz version, but Beast, uh, we need a classic Mystique, a new updated one. Uh, some villains like Pyro and Toad. Toad come out in the very first wave of Marvel Legends, and we've not had him since. So I think we're due a new Toad, just saying. Um, Jubilee, we've had the Builder figure, maybe they'll find a way to single pack it. And then I've also put Nightcrawler, really like a Nightcrawler for the collection. Um, so there are X-Men and Spider-Man figures that I'd quite like. Uh, I've also written down Captain Marvel wave. Now obviously they probably will tell us they're gonna give us a Captain Marvel wave. We won't see any of the figures from the film because we've not even seen a trailer. So there's no way they're gonna show off toys from that uh, film yet. But they probably will reveal that they're going to give us that wave and also show off some of the characters, uh, comic book characters that are going to be in that wave. Obviously in Black Panther, they revealed that we were going to get Neymar, uh, Neymar and Black, uh, Black Bolt way before we've seen any of the actual film figures. So maybe they will tell us that they're giving us a Captain Marvel wave and they may even start telling us what comic book characters we're going to be getting in that wave. Uh, in regards to Walgreens exclusives, obviously we've been getting all the Fantastic Four figures. The mid a great job with that. Hopefully we see that continue. Doctor Doom is very heavily rumoured. Rectangular again made another video on that, so hopefully that's true. I've got the Epics Heroes one on the shelf, but it is in need of an update. Um, so hopefully we get a Doctor Doom. And it's also been teased for a while that we're going to get a Super Scroll uh, with a couple of interchangeable effects, probably. Um, that has been on a Walgreens computer for a probably over a year now. I reckon Hasbro delayed that because the scrolls are gonna be in Captain Marvel. So they wanted to release that figure closer to Captain Marvel, even though it's a comic book figure. I don't know, just speculating, but I'm hopefully they might reveal a super scroll at the event. Who knows? And then I've also written in big capital letters, Stan Lee Builder figure. Hasbro, what is going on? Where did that Stan Lee Builder figure go? We need to find out. JC, Shartam is prime. Ask the questions for us. What happened to the Stanley Builder figure? We need that in our collection to be the mantelpiece on the shelf. Stanley Builder figure, find a way to give it as Hasbro. I don't care if it's not a Builder figure, if it's single packs, I need to buy a couple of two packs. I don't care how we get it, but give us that Stanley Builder figure, okay? Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, that's my list. That's my random wants, my uh, predictions, I guess but mainly just a wish list. Let's be honest, that is a Marvel Legends wish list. But either way, it's still fun to see what Hasbro reveal. They do sort of slowly reveal things all weekend. So hopefully now you've got a rough idea when that will happen, whether you're in the US or you're in the UK. The reveals are coming very, very soon. And of course, at the end of the weekend, I will do a rundown, I will do a news video and tell you all of the reveals that happened and let's see if I've got any of my predictions right or if I've got any of my wants because I'll be very happy. Any, again, you know me, massive MCU fan. Just show us some more MCU figures. I want some more MCU characters that I have not got on the shelf. Any character that I have not got on the shelf is a happy, happy character for, to me. Do you know what I mean? I just want to fill out the shelf with new characters. So um, yeah, my voice is going, I'm rambling, but I've got a new camera. It's San Diego weekend, um, Comic-Con weekend. Happy days, people. So hit that notification bell if you want to hear all the news from me, even though I'm just gonna be regurgitating news I've got from other people, I'm by no means the source. Is Hasbro wanna send me out there to do some reporting live? Not a problem. Send me to that Hasbro breakfast. I love breakfast. Send me over there, I'll do some reporting. Unfortunately not though, I'll be reporting from my house, but from uh, all the other news outlets out there. So shout out to all of them. And yes, I will regurgitate it back to you over the weekend. But until then, as I said, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll get back to reviewing the X-Men Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave. Until then, people, I shall see you on the next one.